Michael Cohen sentenced to three years after implicating Trump in hush money scandal. Michael D. Cohen, the former lawyer for President Trump, was sentenced to three years in prison on Wednesday morning in part for his role in a scandal that could threaten Mr. Trump's presidency by implicating him in a scheme to buy the silence of two women who said they had affairs with him. The sentencing in federal court in Manhattan kept a startling fall for Mr. Cohen, 52, who had once hoped to work by Mr. Trump's side in the White House but ended up a central figure in the inquiry into payments to a porn star and a former Playboy model before the 2016 election. Judge William H. Powley III said Mr. Cohen had committed a smorgasbord of crimes involving deception and motivated by personal greed and ambition. As a lawyer, Mr. Cohen should have known better, the judge said. Before he was sentenced, a solemn Mr. Cohen, standing at a lectern, sounded emotional but resolved as he told the judge he had been tormented by the anguish and embarrassment he had caused his family. I blame myself for the conduct which has brought me here today he said, and it was my own weakness and a blind loyalty to this man a reference to Mr. Trump that led me to choose a path of darkness over light. Mr. Cohen said the president had been correct to call him weak recently, but for a much different reason than he was implying. It was because time and time again I felt it was my duty to cover up his dirty deeds rather than to listen to my own inner voice and my moral compass, Mr. Cohen said. Mr. Cohen then apologized to the public you deserve to know the truth and lying to you was unjust. Federal agents raided Mr. Cohen's office and home in April, and he later turned on Mr. Trump, making the remarkable admission in court that Mr. Trump had directed him to arrange the payments. Mr. Trump at first denied knowing anything about the payments, but then acknowledged that he had known about them. This week, he insisted that the payments were a simple private transaction not election-related spending subject to campaign finance laws. He also maintained that even if the hush money payments were campaign transactions in violation of election regulations, that should be considered only a civil offense, not a criminal one. Since Mr. Cohen came under investigation, Mr. Trump has mocked him as a weak person who was giving information to prosecutors in an effort to obtain leniency when he is sentenced. In fact, Mr. Cohen did not formally cooperate with prosecutors in the United States Attorney's Office in Manhattan. In addition to the campaign finance violations, the sentence covered Mr. Cohen's guilty pleas to charges of tax evasion, bank fraud and making false statements to Congress. He took a calculated gamble in pleading guilty to this litany of federal crimes without first entering into a cooperation agreement with the government. He offered to help prosecutors but only on his terms, and there were some subjects he declined to discuss. His lawyers argued he should not serve time in prison. Federal prosecutors in Manhattan said he deserved around four years. Editor's Picks Tanya Harding would like her apology now. They survived a massacre. Then the lawyers started calling. Sigrid Johnson was black. A DNA test said she wasn't. Judge Powley had the final say. The judge said Mr. Cohen's assistance to the special counsel's office, though useful, had not wiped the slate clean, and a significant term of prison was justified.